1945, an engineer is working on his radar set in his laboratory. After some time, he noticed the candy bar in his pocket melted. He realized that it was due to the microwaves from the radar set. Later on, he worked on this and came up with a solution which revolutionized the food industry. The engineer is Percy Spencer and the device is microwave oven. Soldier Henry Tandy was fighting for the British army and was able to gain control over Marcoing. He saw an injured German soldier who was about to flee. Because he was injured, Tandy could not bear to kill him and let him go. This decision changed the fate of the world history and costed the world in an unimaginable way. The year was 1918 and the German soldier was Adolf Hitler. In 1961, meteorologist Edward Lorenz was working on his mathematical model which when supplied with a set of numbers representing the current weather could predict the weather a few minutes in advance. So Lorenz started producing long term forecasts by feeding the predicted weather accurately back into the computer over and over again. This started producing the weather forecast which could predict the weather of following days and weeks. One day, in order to save time, Lorenz took the previous prediction from halfway and fit it to the mathematical model. After a coffee break, he came back to the lab and observed the predictions. He found the drastical changes in those predictions, which had totally gone wrong. He soon realized that instead of taking six decimal places, he fed only three decimal places into the model, which changed the whole outcome of the system. Lorenz soon realized that small differences in the system could produce large differences in the results, like a butterfly flapping its wings here can cause a hurricane half a world away. Lorenz stated this phenomenon as butterfly effect. Chaos theory is a mathematical concept which mainly focuses on the behavior of dynamical systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions. A chaotic system may seem totally complex from outside, but within the system there are underlying patterns which are orderly repetitive with slight change in the initial point. This is known as sensitive dependence on initial conditions. In order to understand this, let's try experimenting with double rod pendulums. If you clearly observe, initially the path of each pendulum is quite predictable. But after a while, each pendulum leads to different trajectories. This happens because of a slight change in the initial position of each pendulum. A chaotic behavior of a system is constant transition between order and disorder, which means order and disorder are not diametrically opposed and the transition space between the order and disorder is called edge of chaos. In order to understand the underlying patterns of a chaotic system, we first have to understand the chaotic behavior. This is where the attractor comes in. Imagine throwing a plastic ball into your swimming pool. If released above the water, it will fall. If released underwater, it will float. No matter where it starts, the ball will immediately move into a very predictable way towards its attractor, the water surface. Knowing the attractor will allow us to narrow down the possibilities of understanding a chaotic system. Phase space helps us in describing the possible behaviors of a chaotic system geometrically. Each point in phase space represents a unique possible state of a system. In order to understand the behavior of a system, 
simply place a point at the location representing the starting configuration and watch how the point moves through the phase space. A chaotic system will move predictably towards its attractor in phase space and form beautifully complex structures called fractals which are intricately detailed at all possible scales. To understand the formation of fractals, let's play the game. Grab a pen and paper. Take three points in a plane A, B, C to form a triangle. You need not to draw it. Randomly select any point inside the triangle and consider that your current position. Randomly select any one of three vertices points, let's say A. Move half the distance from your current position to A. Plot the current position. Again move half the distance from the current position to B. Plot the position and again move half distance from current position to C. Continue the iterations until you see a beautiful fractal known as Sierpinski Triangle. These beautiful fractals are formed because of interactive attractors. If you play the same game with Lorentz mathematical system, it exactly looks like a butterfly. Each time when butterfly flaps its wings, it exerts the air pressure around it, which is very minute when compared to the total air pressure. So the air molecules can easily neutralize the changes caused by the flap of a butterfly wing. Butterfly flapping its wings here obviously cannot cause hurricane half a world away because there are many factors involved in it like humidity, temperature and winds. The change made by these factors are far bigger than butterfly flapping its wings. So butterfly effect do not have any influence on the complex weather models. But its influence on greatly simplified models like double pendulum are real. Even though the butterfly effect may or may not have any influence in our real life, still it is a beautiful phenomenon. If you stumble across our channel, please do subscribe and click notification bell to get notified about our new videos. Thanks for watching.